Hello, guys. We're not gonna start playing yet. We got like a minute before we actually start like playing. But I want to show you guys something. I took some extra time before a stream today to set something up, right? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry for scaring you, man. Wasn't intentional. But guys, look. Hold on. Look. I made my, I made the room festive. Even though I know it's like, it, it just hit November, but still. I tried to, I tried to make things a little bit festive, but not go like overboard with it or anything, you know? Okay. But, um, <laughs> I tried to do something simple, but Jack's got little antlers on, so I gave him little horns for Halloween. So, I gave him some antlers for Christmas. I was gonna do a Christmas hat, but it looked weird with the bow. It looks a little weird with the bow now, too, even, but it, it was better than the hat. It makes a I'm trying to be, like, because I know some people are like, oh, it's still around Halloween time. Some people are like, oh, it's fall time. And some people are like, oh, it's Christmas time already. So we're playing a game that's in the fall season around that has the Halloween event still going on. But I have Christmas decoration. So it's a win for everyone. All right, I'm going to go ahead and hop into the game. Got my cat chilling here. He just vibing. But I got a couple things I gotta work on today while I'm playing. I can't really give away too much information. But you guys can help me with some stuff. I'm gonna be in a private server just for like a short little bit. Um, and then I'm gonna hop to a public server or try to find like a small public server probably. Because I don't want to invade, like, one of the big servers. Because they're probably doing the event right now. And people haven't done it already. I was able to do it on my own, luckily. So, that's not... I, I'm done with it. And guys, I'm slowly getting better at doing this puzzle down here. I'm getting much better at it. Compared to how long it took me yesterday to try to do it. I'm getting better. I want to I want to do it right now because yes mm. there's one row done And we're gonna do And then, okay, bam, one whole corner piece done, right? And if you're doing this on your own, do it row, then column, then row, then column. It's the easiest way to do it. So do like one of the rows, either top or bottom, then one of the sides, then another row and so on. And it makes it so much easier. Okay, so.
Okay. That goes there. This needs to go down here. That might be the missing piece right there. In that case. to do this side first. Which means I'm about to destroy this side that I already finished. I'm gonna move everything that way. Okay. I, you might have just heard my neck pop. Okay. This puzzle sucks. I'm just trying to prove that I've gotten better at it, and it's clearly not. I'm not making myself look very good, that's for sure. Yeah, how can I do this? Yeah, that doesn't work well already i promise i'm getting better okay i promise i'm better at the puzzle now so i got some morphs i want to work on today i have a general idea of what i'm going for but i am kind of also just winging it let me hop in the editor really quick so i'm working on characters for a series and right now I'm trying to do a lot of the fill-in characters. I'm probably going to use... Who can I use as like a general idea? I'm going to overwrite this one. So I know what I'm going to do. 
I just got to execute it properly. So I'm basing this off one of my characters. And I know I want to give them some kind of white markings on their face. They're going to be a reddish brown cat. And they're probably only going to have white around their face, maybe a tiny bit on their tail. That's it. They're going to be a very simplistic cat with maybe like some slight pattern to them. I'm not sure. Um, first thing I need to decide is if I'm going to make them fluffy or not. What do you guys think? Fluffy? Not fluffy? This is going to be one of the clan leaders, too. I can't say like clan name or anything like that yet, but it's going to end up being one of the leaders. Fluffy or not fluffy? What should I do? Should I make them fluffy? Not fluffy? Tiny bit fluffy? Fluffy. Okay, I see a lot of fluffies. So let's see. First, I'm going to do... I'm going to close the outfits because I'm not using any limited stuff for this. So I'm going to do... Not gonna do ear tufts. Curled ears is a maybe. I'm not sure on that one yet. I'm probably gonna do this. Okay. So some of the accessories from the event are gorgeous. I recommend doing the event if you haven't already. Okay. Eyes. Alright, so we're gonna do fluffy. I might not do mane this time. I use it a lot. So I'm gonna use the throat fur instead. So it's just a little like tuft of fur in the front there. Um, I might use the chin tuft as well, because I it's, I don't use it very much. I want to use it more. A little fluffy on the arms. Leg fur as well. I'm not going to use the belly fur. I'm going to make them fluffy, but not like crazy fluffy. Because I do want them to stand out a little bit. Oh yeah, you can hop in the, the private server to do phase 2. That's fine by me. Mm. Throw up for it looks better in my opinion. Um, Let's see, is there any fluff I can put on the face here? That's downwards, outwards. Upwards. I think I'm gonna do upwards, possibly. Normal, okay, let's see what kind of tail am I gonna get. I'm probably gonna use this tail because it definitely like seals the whole fluffy kind of thing. I'm going for fluffy, but not extreme. I don't know if I'm going to use any accessories yet. We'll see. Markings. I know I want them to be very simplistic. So I might do something like this, possibly, and make it just like a slightly different color. Right? So that way it kind of adds a little bit of variation, but not anything crazy. And I'm also probably going to do... I'm gonna do probably like just a small scar. I don't know where though. I'm gonna say probably on the cheek and just that, no other scars. I don't wanna go too crazy with it. And then I'm gonna go back up to face. We're gonna do face markings. So I know I want some kind of white marking towards the top of their head. But I'm also considering doing like a mask. I'm 
me see what we have to work with. I like using this one a lot, but you can only color the full thing. You can't color it in sections, which kind of is sad. I'm probably... Let's see. I do the half nose marking. I have not used that in like forever. No fangs. Not sure on the nostrils yet. Hey, that's actually not bad. Then I might do like under eye marking. Maybe. Charcoal and face mask. Let me see what that looks like. nice and we'll do some experimenting okay and then accessories accessories do I want them to have accessories If I do, I need them to be like a reddish color. And I don't want to use any limited game passes. That may be pretty. Okay, we'll have to wait on accessories. Let's do some coloring. I'm going to drop them. Actually, I'm going to leave them a large warrior for now while I color and then I'll drop them down to size. I'm liking this cat so far, though. Okay, so I know I want to go for... A brownish-red color. Let me test it over here. That might be a color we like. That's really brown. Really brown. This one I'm kind of leaning towards. But this. This might also be a nice color. What do you guys think? Should I go for the darker, more saturated one? Or should I go for the lighter, slightly desaturated one? Or, or possibly, I could take the desaturated one, make that the main color, and then make the stripes the darker one, or reversed. Okay, but fun fact that... I find really awesome with the large warrior game pass. They run faster than the normal sized cats. Like pretty decently faster. So if you want to get around the map fast or you're doing like an event or something where you need to run like across the map, large warrior is amazing. It You run much faster. Oh, I accidentally colored the tail, I think, oops. But what if I do? Hang on, I'm gonna use this. What does it mean? What if I do that and then. Hmm? What do you guys think? I kinda like that, but I also wanna see what it looks like opposite. And then this is the opposite. It does kind of look like scars. The lighter one does kind of look like scars. I kind of like this one. I kind of like 
the stripes kind of popping a little bit. Okay, this is what it'll look like if we use the dark stripes. I think I'm kind of liking it. And I'm going to take this really quick. and I'm going to darken it slightly. And I'm going to... Kind of just add a bit of sugary. I don't want it to be like crazy different. I want to give a little bit of color variation there. And I'm probably going to do that with... What do the arms up front do? It kind of just gives it a little more depth instead of it all being one color. Don't know if I'm going to give him an underbelly yet. We'll see. I kind of like the tail though. Guys, should I do a gradient tail? I love the gradient tails. Okay, hold on. I love gradient tails. Look how pretty that looks. It's so subtle, but it's really nice. Okay. I am going to take this color. And give them a couple white toes in the front. As well as one white toe in the back. I want to give it, like, a kind of sucks, but not really. I don't want to go overboard with it. Okay, I'll do that. Then in the front, I'll do one fully white toes. Yeah, I know about the eyelids. I haven't really started coloring the face yet. Okay, we're going to start with the basic thing here, which is just going to be coloring all the white to match the skin tone first. Not very fond of that. Let me grab the white marking. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna take off... The charcoal stripes.
Like, when I'm doing this, this reminds me of, like, the piebald marking. If you guys have ever- if you guys know what I'm talking about. But, like, okay, I actually kind of like this. I don't know, what do you think? What do you guys think? I actually kind of like this. I can't lie. I might need to add some white, though, to the tail or something to kind of balance it out a little bit. I'm gonna have to ruin my, my, my beautiful gradient tail, but... Okay, we're gonna do that. So grab this color. We're gonna start from scratch, right? This color, if I'm not wrong... What was this color? It's so weird. It looks the same, but it, I my mind is also saying it's not the same. <laughs> the lighting is like I don't know. It's the lighting, I believe. But I'm gonna do it. So. I might try, hold on. Hmm. Okay, what if... I grab like this... What if I try a different marking? I wanted to go simple. What if I try a different marking, though? Okay, what if I do... Like this, instead. I don't know, I don't think that- I don't think the brown looks right. Kinda liking this. Kinda liking it. I think my big issue is the white face is very like bam right in your face, which I kind of want to lean away from a little bit. Which I wonder if there's a way I could do that easily. Heavy eyes might look cute. You are right. Hold on, let me look. I don't like it. I know grumpy eyes also. I 
have like grumpy eyes. Okay, so hear me out. What if... You guys like it better with the white neck or without the white neck? With or without? I'm kind of leaning towards with. I like it better with. Okay, wait. I might have a solution to all my problems. You guys remember how I said I always use main? You guys see why I always use it? It immediately looks way more, like, cohesive the moment I add it because it doesn't have like the straight lines where it like separates the uh the coloring let's see I color that and I color that hey just a just a fluffy cat with the with the cool looking face the only the only cat the main really works for really well is the main coon I know it, it looks similar-ish to, like, the Maine Coons, like, fluffy, lion-like mane, but that's pretty much it. Okay, wait, another idea. What if... No. Mm -mm. <laughs> Just no. I don't even need to finish that one. Just no. Okay, what if we take a completely different approach? Scrap the white. Forget it. Where's the face marking? Get rid of the face mask. At his last connection. Hold on. And I joined back. We love internet. Wonderful. Okay. Plan. I don't know what. We've been through a lot of plans already. No more face mask. No more van markings. Okay. We start fresh. Perhaps. What if I've been going too extravagant this whole time? What if... Oh, let me change his, his nose color. not feel on the spot i like the little nose blaze though okay what if mm, let me see is another different 
those blades we can use. White nose? Do we do white nose? Maybe? Is this a solution to all our problems? This might be our solution. Perhaps. Well, let me add... Okay. It's coming along. Badger fur. If you're talking about the shell, it's the uh, bottom right. Okay. I'm liking this. I'm liking it. How are we feeling about it, Chad? Okay, but wait, 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 wait. We could do one more little thing if we wanted to. I don't know what you guys think. Eye markings or no eye markings? I'm liking it. I think this might be it, unless I decide to add any accessories, which I'm not sure if I'm going to. You give Miss Throat Fur back. Think that's a morph done. I'm gonna save him there. He doesn't have a name or anything yet. Oh, hi, Nyx. Oh my gosh, Nick's lagged so bad. Holy. That's wonderful, Nick. Okay. I... I'm probably going to join a public server, but you two are welcome to stay in here and use my private server to do the event. That's totally fine by me. You guys have free access to use it. Uh, 
All right. We're going to go to a public server. So if anybody wants to join, feel free to join. I'm going to join as small as of a server as I could possibly find. Alright, I'm gonna join. First, I'm gonna... Elect my main dude. I say main dude, he's just... The Morphet isn't really tied to any specific character or lore. He just kinda... He just kinda there. I'm gonna go to Rogues and Loners. If one of the mods can grab my username for people, that'd be awesome. That's a pretty morph that just ran past. Oh, another red and blue morph. That's so pretty. I have a red and blue morph too. Hold on. They're on opposite sides. Mine's just a lot paler. Oh, that hat is adorable. I keep I, you, I keep seeing morphs that are like really similar to morphs I have. Like you see this blue one right here? It just looks like an upgraded version of my old main morph. Like hold on, this is my old main morph. It just looks like an upgraded version of my old main morph. Like, I'm not even joking. <laughs> what is this? Oh, let me swap back to the big guy. Oh, there's so many pretty morphs. People are so good at making morphs in this game. Someone is rotating. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a very cute dog morph. It reminds me of like um like a border collie or something. Ian. My favorite thing to do is run and then loaf. Because you slide as a loaf. It's great. Oh, that's unique. Hello. I love I love loafing as the big cats because they're just giant loafs. It's great. Hello. Oh, little tiny cat. <laughs> it's so crazy to see them sitting next to each other, like the different sizes. Look how giant I am. The pirate hat looks so cool. I'll be honest, I've been so tempted just to blow like a ton of money and get all of the Halloween game passes, but it's so expensive.
a wolf cub all. 700 Robux? Oh my gosh. Ma'am, it's like some of these outfits are cute, but they're not worth that much Robux, you know? Like, am I really gonna spend 700 Robux for bat wings? Like, when I could go spend 400 and get a whole outfit instead, where I could spend 50 and get a super cute little butterfly harness. Is this a skull cat? Yeah, Big Warrior is very expensive, but I personally think it was worth it. It was worth it for me, at least. I love using the big cat. You guys have such pretty morphs. I'm so jealous. I, almost all of my morphs are just ones I made ages ago that need to be, like, remade or revamped. Like, hold on, let me look at some. Like, some of these are so simple. Or they're, like, really, really old. Like, for example, this one's super old. There's, like, no color variation. It's all, like, one solid color, pretty much. I bet you'll never... Guys, I bet you'll never guess which cat... What, what character this cat was based on. I bet you'll never guess. With pink and white, one orange eye and one gray eye. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's based on Jackson. I mean, are you guys honestly shocked? <laughs> I mean... You know, I'm- it's pretty expecting. I only have so many pink and white characters. This was one of my first ever morphs that I made. This was one of the first ones ever, and I just later on went back and added, um, a main to it, essentially. This is one of my first ever morphs. You can see my very poor attempt at a gradient tail. It did not go great. As you can see, I gave up after, like, the first two. Uh, some of the colors are just wrong. It's- it's not an amazing morph, but I say it's decent for, like, my first time ever making a morph on this game, really. Because I still have my very, very first morph. This was the th the first morph I made when I started playing after beta. It's literally just a white cat with the purple flower. That's it. You did the puzzle. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that person just fell from the sky. Like this morph right here was the first thing I ever made on this game. And then we have like shortly after I, ma I started getting better at morphs. One of my favorite morphs that I am very proud of is Ivory Thorn. I was going for a Siamese cat, but it didn't really end up as a Siamese. I still really love how it turned out, though. It started as a Siamese cat, and then it turned into this cat instead. But I'm okay with it. I think it turned out good. And then I have, where is it? And then like, here's one of my more recent morphs. I made this during the last time I streamed this and made morphs. This is one of my more recent ones that I made. Yes. Now this is one of my only apprentice characters. Oh, I love this cat. That's so pretty. It reminds me of like, oh my gosh, do you guys know those, like those little lemon cake things? Like the little lemon squares? That's what this cat reminds me of. It reminds me of like the lemon squares.
Man, I also just might be hungry. <laughs> I think I have food on my mind. <laughs> Hold on, let me see. Let me see if I can find what I'm talking about. Lemon bars. Hold on. I'll show a picture on stream. Your cat reminds me of lemon bars. These are lemon bars. They're like these little like lemon baked things with like some kind of crust and then they have powdered sugar on top usually. That's what your cat that's what your cat reminds me of. Cuz it like the pretty yellow color when they're like the lighter really pale yellowy white color <laughs> like i said it could also just be really hungry could be one it could be it could be multiple things and then we have let's see I have... Most of these are old morphs up here. Who's newer? I know Flowerfoot is semi-new. Not really super new. But... Very simple morph, but I like it. Oh my gosh. Literally a lemon bar. That sweater super cute, too. Then we also have like Puddle Belly. Puddle Belly was an attempt at like recreating a real life cat as a morph. And it's literally just a pure gray cat with a white nose. I eventually just gave up and was like, okay, gray cat. And as you can see, some of the colors are just messed up too. So didn't really go as planned. And then we have Snow Bee is basically just Ivory Thorn, but like different pattern. I'm trying to think. I, I can't. I want to show you guys some morphs that are down here, but I can't. Um, we have Willow. Willow is one of the. I had a, a morph of her originally that wasn't that great, and I re later on remade her. To give her more like depth, essentially. I made her a kitty pet. Everybody here has super pretty morphs. I've seen you guys with all kinds of gorgeous ones. I like I I don't know how I feel about like certain ones though, like right? I like detailed ones, but I also like some of the simplistic ones. It really just depends. Like, this morph right here, love it. I absolutely love that. But then also that morph, that's a little bit more simplistic on, like, the colors and stuff. I also love it. Also looks great. Where do you get the collar? Um, for the event thing, it's from the puzzle. It's supposed to drop both the shell and the collar. Candy corn cat. Oh, that's adorable. It didn't? Oh dear. I'd suggest doing it again because that's where it's supposed to drop it. It sometimes drops it like under the puzzle, so you have to like... Only dropped fur? What? I don't know then. You might have to talk to someone else because I... I don't... You know, I'm... I When I did the puzzle, it gave me the shell with badger fur. And then the broken collar. Also, yeah, the live will stay on YouTube as long as nothing like crazy, horrible, terrible happens. I leave all my streams up after. Yeah, I'm gonna swap back to my big guy now. Big man. Um. I do need to work on some stuff while I'm playing, though. Because I have some stuff I do need to get done um, for a certain series that I can't really talk about much right now. But 
you know. Um, I got a couple things I want to do while I'm streaming, but I also have to be like careful about what I say because I don't want to spoil too much or reveal too much. Well, I'm checking to see all that I need to do. I still... I have a couple more morphs I probably need to make today. But I can do that in a little bit. Only like being a public server? I don't know. I'm probably gonna vibe in here for a while. It could be the rest of stream. It could be most of stream. I'm not sure. A magic trick? Oh dear. Should I be scared of your magic trick? You find the morph, okay. I'm a little bit scared. an herb how did you pull that off magic okay fair enough Roblox broke? Oh gosh, that's not good. Roblox always seems to break at like the worst times too, it seems like. I'm assuming it's some kind of glitch. I wouldn't be shocked. Have you guys seen like the uh, the one ear glitch? And where you can make your ears like flop out to the sides, kind of. Hold on, someone be a kit. I, I don't know if I'm gonna do this right. Hold on, what keybind is this one, I think. Someone be a kit and then come here. Now my ears are fluffed out. You can't really go anywhere with it or do anything. Like, see, as soon as I get out of crouch, it reverts back to me. But it's cute. I find it very adorable. And all you gotta do is you gotta crouch down, lay on your back like this, and then pick up a kit. And that's how you do the, uh, your glitch. I found it on a random short one day. And I tried it, and it, it's such a simple little glitch, but it's super adorable. I know, the kits are so tiny. You guys are so little. Nope. My favorite- My favorite roleplay thing that I used to do when I, like, actually roleplayed on here frequently is- I have this one morph, her name's Hazel. Hazel Talon, but I say Hazel. She's a gigantic queen. She's massive. And it's always so cute because she'd have like kits and they'd be so tiny compared to her. But I loved using her because I, I prefer using, doing, being like a queen usually because a lot of the other roles are like super demanding or are hard to do properly, especially if you're inexperienced with Warrior Cats roleplay. 
So I tended to gravitate towards being a queen most of the time. And if I wasn't a queen, I'd usually be a kit or an apprentice. Which is really funny because I have like no apprentice morphs at all. Fave RP role? I would say probably queen. I prefer being queen most of the time. If not queen, I prefer to be like apprentice or younger because those are usually the most interesting ones to roleplay as, at least in my experience. I was medcat one time. One time. Regretted it so bad. Because I was a medcat with one of the clans that had like a crazy fantasy roleplay. It was started out normal and then all of a sudden it was just like, there's deadly gas everywhere. We're all gonna die. There's a plague going around. Like it went from being completely normal to just being like, okay, we gotta evacuate Shadow Clan now and we're gonna go to River Clan instead. And nobody would listen. Everybody was like, oh, I need treatment. And then they'd like run away before I could treat them and stuff like that. So it was like, it was a mess. The first time I ever played Medicine Cat, it was a complete mess. So like, I've never been a Medicine Cat since then. Not after that experience. I know... One of the best role plays I ever had on here was when I was, um, when I was leader. I don't like being leader that much in this game, mostly because people don't listen to, like, anything most of the time. But I was leader once, and the deputy was one of my friends. And it was, like, an actually genuinely good role play. Pretty chill. Everybody kind of did what they needed to. It was pretty chill for the most part. It was a pretty good roleplay. You really gotta get, um... You really gotta get lucky with the group of people to have a really good roleplay in this game. Or do, like, private roleplays. Where, like, you pick a role ahead of time and everybody has planned out roles and they have, like, sessions. So, like, every so-and-so day and so-and-so time, everybody meets up in a VIP server and everybody roleplays. I've seen those have, like, some crazy good roleplays and stuff. But at the same time, it's also, like, getting enough people to have enough people for each clan and stuff becomes a bit of a hassle. Hold on, someone said if I wanted to do the puzzle. I can try the puzzle. Got stuck. Oh, it's just a three by three. Hold on. There you go. You guys can grab everything you need now. Here, I'm gonna go put one of the things over there. I can help you guys with the moon stuff if you want. I'm cool with it. I've already beat it myself. There's people already up here. I've already done the moon thing once before. I'm not worried about it. But it seems like there's already people up there. If you guys want to go do that. That are just waiting for it to be nighttime. I'm gonna drop the color because they already have it up there. It's 
But like, how come the public server gets a 3x3 puzzle and I got a 4x4 almost every time I did it? Like, what? I mean, so private servers are harder. Makes sense. I mean, it was pretty easy for me, though. I still did it. Once I got past the puzzle, it was super easy. There's some wacky roleplay or something going on in the chat. I don't know what's going on over there. I'm just wandering around. Which also, thanks to a viewer the other day, well, yesterday, um, I was actually able to find a really good frog hunting spot. So, that's pretty nice. It's like right here. It's incredibly easy to find frogs. Yes, there are frogs. Hey, you want a frog? They look they look goofy when you hold them. <laughs> I've gotten significantly better at hunting from like doing all the hunting for the event and stuff. I've also started to like I'd be able to identify the scent trails by color and stuff. Found another frog! Everybody's hunting frogs now. I might, honestly, I have some fun little challenges that I want to do for this game on, like, video and stuff. So I might do something like that at some point if you guys want to see stuff like that. Okay. <laughs> Everybody's got frogs. On I, I feel left out. I want a frog too. Like I said, it's so easy to find frogs here. This is the third one I've found already. I got a frog too. Everybody has frogs. <laughs> Literally everybody has a frog. This is great. Frog party. Woo. They look so goofy too. 
<laughs> Look at their legs. Consumed frog. Tasted like a frog. Wow, I know, right? Such a unique flavor. I do want to look at something. I'm going to teleport to a random clan. I'm just going to go to Thunder Clan, I guess. I want to look at something really quick. Okay. I want to see how much of each thing could be stored in here. Um, there's a squirrel in Thunder Clan, guys. Don't you guys see that? Where'd he go? Did it go in the bed then? <laughs> Where did it go? You guys saw that, right? Did it just evaporate? I'm so confused. It it might have just straight up evaporated. I don't see it anywhere. Where did it even come from? It just appeared. That was weird. This map is so pretty though. I really like this map. It, yes, Evan, what's up? Happy news. It's going on a little walk. This map is just so gorgeous. I love doing photos and stuff on here. <gasps> oh, that's nice, Evan. Yeah, like I said, the, the big cats are so fast for, like, no reason. Like, look how much distance I gained. It's crazy. Lip. <laughs> Where did you come from? <laughs> it looks like I do like a tuck and roller or something. It looks so stupid.
Rainbow. Rainbow Kitty. Oh, that's awesome, Evan. When you guys want to see some of the photos I've taken during photo shoots, I can show you guys some of them. Okay. Let me open up my folder. Let me find some of my favorite ones. Okay, I love this one. Keep in mind, these aren't my morphs. Look at this one. I love this photo. I'm gonna see what else do I have here. Gotta move them to my main monitor so I can see them better. Oh, it's also this one. I love this one so much. It was so perfect. You can't see the cat, it's in the bottom left. But it looks like some kind of wallpaper or something. This is a screenshot from Warrior Cats. It had minor editing done to the lighting. That's it. But wait, it gets better. You know why? There's a blue version. But wait, it gets even better, right? You also have this one. Yeah, I'm in a public server. Feel free to join. Just ask one of the mods for my username. I also have... Where is it? I'm looking for a specific one. This one, which I also absolutely love. And then we also have this one, which I took with a group of people. Yeah, anyone is welcome to join. My joins are on for everyone. We're chilling by four trees right now, which is next to Wind Clan. Let's see, is there any other ones I can show? Yeah, I'll show off this one. I love photo shoots. They're great. All right, though, that's oh, there is plenty more pictures, but those are the ones I'm going to show for now. <laughs> photo shoots are awesome i want to start doing more of them at some point here let's go go to a different area let's go to the kitty pet house because that one's easier to get to for everyone and we can also sit on a nice comfy bed Oh my god, I thought that was a rabbit. That's an actual person. <laughs> there's a per there's a person over there. I thought it was a rabbit. <laughs> We're gonna go upstairs. Oh, let's see what bedrooms are there. Oh my gosh, what is this? Oh, there's a little there's a little flag there. 
I like this room. Look at this little sculpture. It's cute. They're sheep. We don't use the small bed. We get to sleep on the big bed. The humans can sleep in a little bed. It's like we're having a slumber party for cats or something. Sleepover. Yeah, hold on. I can show you guys some of the uh, SSO photos I took as well. I have to go find them though. Um, my joint should be on. Let me see. Do I have them saved on my computer? I do not. I'm gonna have to go download them really quick. Hold on. Okay, I need to go grab them from my storage server. I'm gonna show you guys. I've only done really one SSO photo shoot that I still have the photos from. And it was with Evan. Alright, you guys ready? We're gonna start with the one that was just like a test photo. This is my horse in SSO. We just have a test photo here. And then me and Evan did a one mini photo shoot with one of her horses. Here is, I think this is one of the only images we actually kept. It's also gorgeous. I love it. And then we have, we did a last, the last unicorn themed photo shoot. We have this photo. From that photo shoot and I have one more saved. And then this is the other one we had. But yeah, those are the only SSO pictures I really have. But I'm proud of them. We have a cat sleepover going on over here. One of the buns just made a loud noise or something. I don't know if Tango's here right now. I'm not sure. <laughs> Someone keeps like cannonballing onto the bed. Yeah, everyone is free to join. We are in a public server. We are just vibing in the kitty pet house in one of the rooms. I'm gonna go downstairs. Hold on. Okay, sorry. I put myself in the carrier. <laughs> Prison. <laughs> My mom asked me if I wanted any food, so we might have a segment of stream today where I just eat food while sitting in the game. It seems to happen almost every stream. Bit in my head. Candy corn for the candy corn cat? Hold on. Oh, 
Oh, is this like a little blood fountain? Oh, the food is candy corn. That's great. Favorite morph here. Ooh, that's a tough one. There's a lot of really pretty morphs. I really like the candy corn cat. I'm going to say probably the candy corn cat because it's very unique and it also looks really nice. Uh, if you want to get to the kitty pet house, if you go down to this button at the bottom, bottom left, plans and maps, press it and scroll all the way to the right. You'll see the kitty pets place and you can press go to area. It'll take you straight out front of the house. A morph contest. Ooh, we could maybe, but I don't want to get anybody too competitive or anything. Boing. So hold on, is this who I think it is? Let me turn my uh, player bio things back on. That is Caden. I see you. I was like, hmm, that morph looks familiar. I was like, is that. <laughs> oh, Aloha's here too! <laughs> Kitten can't escape. We will find you no matter where you go. Oh. Well, two of my YouTube mods are in game right now. Aloha and Caden are both in here. Boing. Yuck, be gone. Remember a long time ago, you could like glitch yourself into the cabinets and stuff. You might still be able to. There's a nose. Loaf in the sink. Bath time? No! Oh, those look like they're on. Maybe we shouldn't stand on those. Hold on. Is, so is anybody a kit here? Because if so... <laughs> I have an idea. Who wants to go in the fridge? <laughs> Who wants to go in the fridge? <laughs> Who wants in the fridge? <laughs> Putting everyone in the fridge. <laughs> Get these in the fridge. <laughs> oh, you're under the fridge. Oh no, hold on. I gotta get the kitties out. Don't worry, children, I'll save you. <laughs> hold on, I'm trying to grab you. The children, I gotta get them out of the fridge. Are you okay down there, buddy? <laughs> no. 
All right, well, they seem very content in the fridge, so. <laughs> you can turn the lights out. Yes. You're gonna, oh no. Maybe, oh God. I feel like <laughs> laying on the stove, it's on is not a good idea. Oh, that's a super cute morph. Oh, I think I like, I like, I like lion better. It reminds me of like a flame point Siamese. Uh, you guys should be able to join my game just by going to my profile. I sadly don't accept friend requests because if I did, my friends list would be too full. Um, however, my join should be on to everyone. You shouldn't have to follow, friend me, or anything. You should be able to join my game. If it's not working, that's Roblox's side. There's a lot of cats on this one counter. Hmm. Let's see. Little toy mice everywhere. Where should we go? Wait, what? Can we fit in the bookcase? Kind of. <laughs> Book cat. become one with the bookcase i don't know who i don't know which of the rabbits i just offended but one of them stomped they did do they do they do not like book cat um i think it looks fine without it the only reason is it really clips into the fur when you're using the amulet and it not super noticeable anyways. Oh dear, I almost got stuck. I right, make sure I'm not missing no notifications or anything. Okay. Good. There's so many pretty morphs here. Let me see. Hmm, is there any morphs I can switch to? Might just stay as Whisper for now. Thank you for the sub, I appreciate it. I am not great with rating morphs, but I do really like it. But I'm assuming you mean gender. If so, uh, male, but I don't care about like neutral pronouns. And my cat is a tomcat. No, it's okay. I'd, I'd rather people ask than just assume. So, I'm glad you asked. Instead of just assuming. Parkour <laughs> misses. I've done that so many times. I'll be like, guys, watch this. I'm gonna speedrun this and I'll fall off immediately or something. Here, do you guys want to do a challenge? You guys want to do a challenge? I still like Lion better.
All right. You guys want a challenge. I want everybody... Oh, let me make sure I'm not going to a clan that has people. There's only one person at Thunder Clan and they're here with us. Let's go to Thunder Clan. Everybody to Thunder Clan. Here is your goal. This fresh kill pile is completely empty right now. Right? It's completely empty right now. Your guys' mission is to fill it up as fast as possible. I'll help. If people take stuff out of it, it's whatever. It's just for fun anyways. But everybody, go. We gotta fill it up as fast as you can. Doesn't matter what you go for. We need everything. So just whatever you can find, catch it. Something right here. I don't know what it is, but it is perhaps a bun. Which is a bun. I'm surprised it didn't get scared away. Okay. I'm just genuinely curious how fast this many people can get, like, a decent chunk of prey in here. I feel like with this many people, it wouldn't take that long at all. Okay, I'm gonna go to Shadow Clan. All the sensors are disappearing. Oh, yeah, it sucks when that happens. Well, this is what I was going for, but I'll take it. All right, we're doing pretty good so far. Okay, okay. I'm gonna try to make my way towards where the frogs are at. I think the hardest one's gonna be the birds. The birds are going to be the biggest pain. It just ran across the water? What? Oh, I see it. Got a bird. Ooh, nice. The birds are going to be the ones that take the longest. So, it's, you know, we're going to try to go for the birds whenever we can. If anybody sees a bird, get a bird. Because that's going to be one that's hard to get. I just saw a frog. Okay, frog obtained. Also, the fresh kill pile looks really cool. Like, if you see, as you add stuff, things actually start to pile up. It's really cool. Okay. I'm gonna go to Shadow Clan. I think it's down here. Okay, we're gonna hunt. There's like frogs everywhere. All of these scents are frogs. And that bro's fast. Alright, see you around, Caster. Yeah, you guys can teleport and stuff. The teleportation is totally fine. Okay, update, we have two birds, two frogs, three rabbits, max trout, no rats, no wood mouse, and two squirrels. 
We don't need any more fish. We need just a little bit of everything else. There's rats? I didn't even know there was rats. When was rats- when- when was rats a thing? I don't smell it. I don't see like any sense around the area. Almost max whirls? All right. Dreams lagging, I am not shocked. Okay. I'm gonna go back to frogs. I didn't find anything while I was running around. Well, crouch and grab a frog while we're over here. Then we need quite a few more frogs. There's gotta be some around here. Found one. Snatch. All right. I got a frog heading back to camp. All right, we have two birds, three frogs, five rabbits, max, we have max rabbit, max trout, max squirrels. We still need a little bit of everything else. Oh, looks like someone's trying to start up a roleplay too, so we're actually helping them with uh, getting their prey stocked up for roleplay. So I guess it all works out in the end, huh? Do you find birds? You can find birds anywhere. They land from time to time. I believe their scent trail is blue. We already have max rabbits. We don't need another rabbit. We don't need squirrels. Good. I gotta keep an eye on where that mouse is going. Uh, we're maxed on fish, rabbits, and squirrels. We need everything else still. Got a wood mouse. Okay. Okay, I need to access the pile and it's not letting me. Can someone eat that fish or something real quick? There's a random fish. Alright, we need four rats, five wood mouse, one frog, and four birds. I just found one. Where are rats? Where can you find rats?
Okay, let's see. Three birds, four rats, three wood mouse. We are almost done. Huh? Yes? Okay, I'm looking around to see if I can find any birds. Wait, 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 be careful. There's a mouse right here. Uh, we need just a few more mice. We need rats and birds. I don't even know where we can find rats. Everybody, everybody comes back at the same time, so we're all trying to, like, put stuff in at the same time. Alright, we're full on wood mouse. We just need birds and rats. Hello. I have literally never in my life seen a rat in this game. Which is why I'm like, confused. Hold on. Warrior Cats Ultimate Edition Rats. There's nothing saying where they spawn. They might be near Carrion Place. A dude with disease filled rats. I think this is the wood mouse, but worth a shot. Yeah, it's a mouse. Has anybody ever caught a rat? Ever. Hold on.
It might not even be in the game yet. I, just don't bother with rats. Focus on birds. I don't know. Mud! I know birds are the worst. We needed three birds last I checked. I'm gonna go to the camp and watch. Let me see how many we need left. Hello? Who's in the storage? Because I think only one person can access it at a time. We need... Two birds. I don't think rats are in the game yet. And if they are, they're like really hard to find. Out of everybody here that's been catching stuff, I've not... Nobody's caught a single one. Uh, Tigress is at the lo at the rogue barn. She'll be behind the hay bales back by the windmill. I'm assuming what you're meaning. Even if we don't finish the rest of this, we did really good. Look how full that is. We did so well. It's almost completely full. Yeah, apparently there's rats. Um. Let me see if I can look. They're like a brownish black color. This is what they're supposed to look like. It could be by kitty pets. Yeah. Forget the filling up the thing. I want to find where these rats are supposed to be. A new challenge, find a rat. Hmm. I'm pretty sure this is just a wood mouse.
What? That trail is completely misleading. All right, next place we're gonna check. We're gonna go to Shadow Clan. It's the only other place I can think of that there'd be rats. Especially because it's a carrion place. There's a frog. Free frog. Eat the frog. And we don't find the rat, it's whatever. I'm just so confused. Like, why have it as an option of something to put in the thing if it wasn't in the game? So, like, it has to be in the game, right? Alright, we maxed out everything except for the rats, and I don't know where rats are. Wait, hold on. You know, it's a thing. So is it confirmed to be a thing in the testing server. So weird. Okay. Man, I'm hungry. I don't know if we can catch it. I can't find any instance online of a location of where they're at. I'm gonna go look at the other camp's fresh kill piles. I can figure where that's at. No rats. No rats. Literally nothing in this one. You know, there's just- I don't, don't know where we'd find them. Oh, 
Get to the wing. I sit. Hello, welcome. We are all piling on the one chair. Warrior Cats is awesome. I enjoy playing it just because it's fun to just mess around in, really. Yeah, but the Blood Moon stuff? Oh, I can try. I'm not, like, amazing at it, but... Boing! And I can do this. There we go. Grab the stuff you need, guys. And then the hunting thing, you guys gotta do on your own. But I, like, literally can't really help with that one. But it's pretty easy. I did my part. I did the puzzle. <laughs> you guys... You guys do what you need to. Yeah, we filled up the, the Thunder Clone Prey, yeah. Um, if you guys need to know what to do for the second part of the Blood Moon thing, you, if you watch where I'm going, right? We walk down this trail. Do, 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 do. We go over here, I believe it is. Somewhere right around here, there's a hole in the ground. Right here. Go down. And we go in here. See this pedestal? I- I would say probably be careful about taking too much, but... But you need one frog, one rabbit, one trout, one mouse, and one squirrel. And it's per player, you have to do it on your own. Or have someone, like, drop stuff to you. So you guys, once you do that, it'll drop things that you- the other two things you need for the altar. There is a specific order you need to put them in, but... You guys have plenty of time because the moon is setting. I like doing the puzzle though, it's fun. Once you get good at it, it's really easy. Like, hold on, I kind of want to do it again.
Bam, even more shells and broken collars. So you need to do the little prey puzzle thing that I just showed and then the puzzle, take a badger fur and then a broken collar and take it over to the altars over this way. They're in where the moonstone's at. You go over there, you go into tunnels and you find the big scary door. Hayden is AFK, but I know what joke you're making, and that's not appropriate for the channel. So unless you want to be hidden, I'd su suggest just following the rules. It's not that hard, man. Scary door? Here, I'll show you. If you can't keep up with me, then watch the stream. You go over here. You go through this tunnel. Or a different one. You go this way, this way, scary door. But yeah, I, I can only help so much. I don't believe that because that sounds exactly like the setup of an inappropriate joke. I'm not here to argue, just follow the rules. Didn't you already get timed out once? There's gonna be shells and collars everywhere. Oh my gosh. On how many are down here? I don't think we have enough. I think we need more of them. Don't you guys think? more of them also i don't know what you guys are doing with like turning into a leader and stuff you don't have to do any of that you literally just put them in the right spots and just wait until the moon it's moon high and that's all you gotta do you don't have to do like any special roles or things like that um if you want a general rundown of what stream is like you can read the pin message most of the rules are kind of just like unsaid because i have yet to put them in the description and stuff but just essentially be family friendly don't be negative and that's pretty much it i need to at some point set them up in the description i've been meaning to i just haven't had the time to shorten down the rules into a small little thing put in there Yep, my joins are on. You are free to join. I'm getting a little sleep. Oh my gosh, it's been two hours. Didn't know that.
Uh, I don't believe I've seen that, no. Uh, hold on. I'm trying to remember. When I can show you guys which area they're supposed to go in, I vaguely remember. But this is off memory, so I could be wrong. Please keep that in mind. Okay, broken color is on this pedestal right here. Mushroom goes on this one. Shell goes on this one. And stick goes on this one. I think. Stick either goes here or here. I think it goes here. This area is really cool though. I didn't really know much about this area until recently when I went to go take like a small video over here. I see it. Okay. I used to watch it when I was a kid. It's been a very, very long time. My brain was playing tricks on me because I thought you two were the same cat for a second, but it was just the hat. <laughs> Losing my mind. <laughs> You guys can take screenies if you want to, but I can't really do individual ones. I don't normally do individual ones during streams. Man, I was supposed to make morphs today and I got very sidetracked. I think it looks very nice. It gives off like mafia vibes, kind of. I'm assuming you probably have a lot of hat morphs with pirate hats. Any Dragon Adventures content? I need to get back into the game. I got kind of burnt out, I can't lie. But I'm going to try to get back into the game at some point. Come on, I'll, I'll show you guys the only morph we actually finished today. Was this guy. I also need to shrink him back down, I forgot to. Tango, just friend me on your alt account and use my VIP server. Like, nobody's even in there. Don't spend 200 Robux on a thing for your alt when you can just send me a friend request instead. Because sending a friend request is free. Yay, 
Yes, I'm sure. I really don't care. And it's not like one extra friend that someone's alt is gonna be the end of the world. A lot of my friends are alt account. Not all of them, but a small chunk is, like, my alt account. Just let me know, like, username, or, like, when you send me a thing, because I have a lot of friend requests pending right now. I'm not accepting friend requests from viewers. Tango is one of the mods and one of my friends, which is why I'm cool with friending their alt account. I try not to friend viewers, but most of my mods I have friended. I don't even think I have Walter and Azzy friended yet. I need to I need to friend them at some point. Oh, that's you? Yeah, I saw your, uh, I saw your account in game earlier, I think. If you were in game earlier. What's your favorite morph? Hmm. I'm not sure. Hold on, let me look. I have a lot of morphs I really like. I would say probably Rose... Or Whisper. Whisper is my big cat that I was before. This guy. And then I'll show you guys Rose as well. And this is Rose. Who has the most realistic? Realistic out of everybody right here? Probably this person lion tails or owl's perch uh lion i that one's probably my favorite morph you have i don't think anything's gonna change that i don't really have any realistic morphs well, except for this one. This one's based off a real cat. Oh, <laughs> oh no, they fell. Yeah, I'm trying to save space for morphs right now, mostly because I need space for a project I'm working on. Yeah, I'll give you guys a little sneak peek, okay? You can't tell anyone. All right. Do you see all these up here? These are all like my normal personal morphs usually, right? But down here, those are all for a project. And I have quite a few more that I need to make for said project. Here, do you guys want to do like a little morph fashion show thing? Where I give you guys a theme and you guys have to show me whichever morph matches that best. Oh, that's a very cute Siamese morph. Alright, we gotta find a good location for this. I'm thinking the kitty pet house because it has the best lighting. Everyone to the kitty pet house. Come over here to this red carpet. You can sit. You can lay down. Whatever you want. Let me swap back to Whisper. We're at the kitty pet house. If you guys want to get to the kitty pet house, bottom left, press clans and maps. Scroll all the way to the white, uh, right and press go to area. We are inside the house sitting on the carpet. Everybody be ready to show off your morphs. I'm very excited to see what you guys have. Looks 
tasty? That's an interesting way to describe a pink cat. All right, is everybody ready? I'm gonna give you guys a theme and you guys have to show me whichever more fits that theme best, okay? If you don't have a lot of morphs, it's okay if you reuse them, just whatever you think best fits. And if I see any really cool ones, I will point them out for sure. All right, I want you guys to show me your favorite morph. What is your favorite morph that you own? Using it right now. Oh, I love these morphs. Oh, the pink, the one with the pink hat. That's really nice. Ah, uh, yes, I made that one for Nyx. Got lots of hats. I see quite a few that could pass as realistic morphs and stuff, too. I really like blossoms. Very pretty. I also like, um... Star, I think that is? Very pretty morph as well. Lots of gorgeous morphs. Alright. Next, I want you guys to show me your most colorful morph. It could be rainbow colors, it could just be bright colors, it could be a bunch of different colors. Whatever you think is the most colorful. I see a lot of ones that look shockingly similar. These two look really similar. Lots of very colorful cats. See some pink. See a rainbow cat, which is very cool looking. I think all of these definitely fit the colorful category. All right. Uh, you can use different morphs. You can use the same one multiple times. Just whatever fits- whatever morph you own that you think fits best, even if you used it for the same- Like, if you used it for the round previous or stuff like that, you can just stay as that cat too. That's totally fine. Just whatever you think fits best. Alright. Next, we're gonna do a complete 180. I want to see your guys' most realistic morphs. So no more rainbow cats, no more bright pink. What is your most realistic cat that you have? <laughs> Gotta make a few people think here. I'm uh, sure dogs count. I say dogs count because they're based off a real animal. Oh, it's based off your mom's cat. Lots of very pretty morphs. Chase from Paw Patrol! See, like, I love colorful morphs, but I also love realistic morphs, too. They're both gorgeous. Alright, we might need to spread out a little bit though. Everything's getting very cluttered. Like everybody's like right on top of each other. It makes it hard to see everybody's morphs. Let's try to space out a little bit. We got plenty of space on the carpet. Man, this feels like a kindergarten class. I'm just realizing. This feels like a kindergarten class. Where I'm like the teacher and we're all sitting on the rug like telling stories or something. <laughs> Alright, tell us a story. Oh no. Um, 
What kind of story? You can't just say A is story. You gotta be more specific, man. All right. Next, I want to see your creepiest morph. Whether it be Halloween themed or they have like a creepy backstory or something like that. Your creepiest, scariest morph. Ooh, that's a really cool zombie cat. I see lots of skeleton cats. <laughs> lots of cats that are like black cats or skeleton cats. That's great. I have a soft spot for skeleton cats. They're great. I see a lot of people took the very generic scary approach but i also see some very unique ones as well i love this skull cat right here because the skull color is like perfect all right let me see let me think of the next theme I want to see everybody's lightest colored cats. So whites, cream colored, very, very light browns, grays. I want to see everybody's lightest colored cat. Yes, that counts. It went from all dark and spooky cats to, like, everybody's white or cream colored. I see a couple brown cats, too. <laughs> you are dirt colored. What a wonderful color. Alright, let's see. Let's, let's delve into roles instead. Alright? So we did themes, let's do roles. I want to see your leader cats. Cats that are put in the leader position or you think fit best in leader position. Well, thank you, Stacy. Welcome to the channel. Uh, Nick, some people might spam requests. You can turn it off in settings, I'm pretty sure. Or in the, the exchange designs. I don't remember where you could turn it off. You could turn it off somewhere, though. Yeah, we're all getting a little bit smushed. Everybody spread out a little bit. We got plenty of space on the carpet. We can spread out a little. You got plenty of space on the carpet. I like the rolled ones, too, because they definitely allow people to be a lot more unique with which ones they pick. Then on the purple- oh, That's a great idea, hold on. Let me- Alright, this way I can observe- I can observe everybody's morphs from up here, so we can see every- I'm gonna zoom out, like, this kind of, so we can see. These trees are going to get in the way, though, which is kind of annoying. All right. Next. Also, lovely morphs, guys. Love them. Very, uh, there's so many of different beautiful ones. All right. Next, I want to see your elder cats. I want to see wh whatever cat you want to pick that's an elder. Show me your elder cats. If you don't have one, that is okay. You it, just, just sit out this round. That's totally fine. Or just whatever is closest to an elder cat if you want.
I know elders are one of the ones that not as many people have. I see lots of pretty ones. I really like Caden's morph. That's a very gorgeous one. All right. Let's see. Let's pick one that I know most people will have. I want you guys to show me your favorite warrior. So whatever whatever your favorite cat is that has the warrior role. Uh, we're just we're doing like a little morph show thing where I'm like giving people a theme and they have to pick whatever morph they want to show based on that theme. All the cats have been summoned. Yes, we're having a secret cat meeting. Totally. <laughs> oh, I really love uh, Phoenix's morph and stars. Very pretty. I see lots of really pretty morphs. Also, I really like Tango's. Lemon's super cute. All right. Next. I don't know if everybody's going to have one of these morphs. But next, I want to see your guys' kits. I want to see a kit morph. Or a baby, whatever. Child kitten. If you don't have kits, that's fine. You can just show whatever morph you want to. The kids are so little. It's okay. I could I can mostly see you guys. Don't worry. It's okay. 100% a kit. Totally. They're just very large babies. Accidentally sized them up. Oh, I like that one. That's very cute. All right, next we're gonna get a little bit older. I wanna see your guys' apprentices. Oh, I like a lot of these. Oak is very cute. Too many blind slash half blind cats. I mean, it's fun making cats that are blind. I don't know what it is, but it's fun. I see lots of very cute morphs. Fawn Paul looks like an ice cream sandwich. I doubt that's what you were going for, but they look like an ice cream sandwich. I'm never going to unsee that. You are an ice cream sandwich now. <laughs> Man, I want an ice cream sandwich, cat. Okay, but, um, let's see. Lots of adorable apprentices. Apprentices have a soft spot in my heart. Let's see, what else can we do? What else can we do? I wanna see... Hmm. Hmm. I'm not really sure what else to do. So, instead, I'm gonna let the morph traders have some shameless advertisement. So, I wanna see if you have one. Oh, wait! Medcat! Medcat! Okay, we'll do- we'll do Medcat. Then I'll give the morph traders shameless advertisement. Okay? Show me your Medcats! Medcats or Med Apprentices work. Either one. Thank you guys for calling that out. I wouldn't have- I wouldn't have remembered that if not.
I love the, the little hat. That's so cute. Lots of very gorgeous med cats. Ooh, evil the med boy. That one's great. I love that morph. Gecko! all. Works hard, needs sun protection. Yes, of course, of course. It's okay if you don't have a med cat. It's all good, don't worry. I also really like uh, this one over here. Very pretty. All right, though. That's it for this for now. We might do this again at some other point. But the last one, if anyone has morphs that they want to trade, you guys should totally show those off. And maybe you'll find someone who wants them here. <laughs> that was very fun though i love seeing people's morphs because people are so creative uh right now we we've basically finished i'm just trying to let tr i said if anyone has a morph they're trying to trade they should definitely show it off and maybe they can find someone to trade it to as like a last thing before we uh before we stopped completely because we got through pretty much every theme i can think of that's like a basic theme if we do this again i'll have to make like a list of themes and stuff if you guys are trading stuff you guys should totally do it here if you're not trading you can also just hang out that's totally fine It makes me wish I still had my old morphs that I was trading. Because I used to have like three morphs I was trying to trade away. And I ended up just giving them away eventually. Ice cream sandwich. I'm never going to unsee you as an ice cream sandwich. You are forever going to be an ice cream sandwich. I did forget deputy, but I know deputies also kind of fall into a leader category. And I didn't want to do just every single role because at that point, we don't have anything to do next time. I wonder, can I? No, I can't fit railings on the stairs. I'm too big. I can't fit through the railings on the stairs. Thank you, Morph and Left. Oh. That's kind of a risk with morph trading. It sucks, but as long as you still have a copy yourself, it's not like you lost anything, at least. Oh, you have a Ken morph? Your Ken morph? It is very nice. I like the colors a lot. I am not good at hide and seek. I am the last person you need to play hide and seek with because it will take me like two hours to find anybody. But I'm already, like, almost three hours into a stream. So, we might play hide-and-seek next time, possibly. 
I don't want to do anything too crazy because I'm probably going to end soon and my mom is probably going to be home with food soon. I also have a Ken Morph. Um, it just has the wrong color eyes. This is my Ken Morph. I went for a lighter colored cat. This is one of my favorite. I really like this morph a lot. Should I block it next time? Maybe. We'll see. Ken is male, yes. Yeah, I have a lot of older morphs on here that I might try to like revamp and then trade off at some point. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, hey, you definitely tried your best. I can definitely see the saddle part you were going for. Yeah, Rival Stars. I have that there for anybody who wants to friend me because I play it pretty frequently. You know how to become a microwave cat? No, I'm kind of curious. So I can't lie. Will you make a live on this again? Probably. I've been playing Warrior Cats more recently. I have played Griffin's Destiny. I'm not a big fan of it, though. It's okay, but it gets really boring really fast for me. Ah, yeah, you can guess on the project if you want, but I don't think you're gonna guess it exactly. Possibly. Possibly. How do you get the morphs panel thing? If you look at the little book icon at the bottom of your screen, that says your cat info, click that, and then you can load saved cats. Anything you have saved in a slot, you can load directly from in-game. Hey, if it's midnight for you, you better get some sleep. And I have some unfilled spaces here. I need to fill in these three spaces at some point. I'm sorry if you hear my dogs barking. My mother might be home with food. Oh no, they definitely are. Have the car door closed. Well, in that case, I'm probably gonna end stream. I might stream on this again soon. I can't guarantee. Um, I'm working on some things behind the scenes too that involves Warrior Cat, so keep an eye out for that. Um, if you guys want to know next time I stream, I will probably stream tomorrow. If not, I'll be streaming the next day. Kind of depends. We'll see. But I hope you guys had fun. I did. I definitely didn't get everything I needed to do uh, done though. But, uh, you know. We got at least one morph made, and then we had some fun with minigames. But I hope you guys have a great day or night. I will see you all later.